I'm going to play solitaire for American style mahjong using national mahjong league rules. This exercise is a really great way to practice passing defensively and making good decisions during the pick and discard phase of the game. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and let me know how it goes for you. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed into walls. We can keep track of the progress of the game. There's a link below the video to Strategy by Wall if you're interested. I'm going to talk through that whole process along the way. So you could follow along if you download that PDF. We're going to just deal 14 tiles for East and then 13 tiles for the other three players. Okay, everybody has the right number of tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player one or east. So here we have a pair of flowers and a pair of twos. We do have a white dragon and an eight. I'm wondering if we could play a year hand We really don't need the red. I think I would keep the wins because there are wins in one of the year hands, but we have these flowers. There are two hands under the year category that use flowers. One is one hand, the second one down uses a pair. The other uses four flowers. Let's go ahead and discard these three and play a year hand for East. Okay, so for player two, there's a pair of threes. I'm thinking we don't need the eight for sure, but I'm thinking either little odds or three, six, nine. I don't think we really need that south. Let's hold the nine and maybe play either little odds or three, six, nine. There's a gap with no sixes, but we do have a joker. Let's go ahead and pass those three. Actually, I think it'd be better to pass these three because seven, eight is consecutive. I think that is the best pass. A wind, an even, and an odd in two different suits far apart. That's a really good pass right there. Okay, for this player, we have a pair of nines I'd like to build around the nines. Maybe we could play five through nine. I don't like passing white dragons, so maybe we could build that in somehow. This is a really risky pass. I, I don't think I would pass that. Let's see if we do, if we build around the nines, Let's give up the seven and that way we can pass and break this two, one, two crack up a little bit. For North, look, we have almost news. Maybe we could play a year hand here, but we do have a multiple with three, four. The four here, we could maybe even play a news, a news pair hand. Or maybe east and west with fours or like numbers with fours. Since we don't have a white dragon, let's, let's see here. Let's pass the three with the seven. And leave a consecutive option and then maybe 
like numbers. Let's go ahead and get rid of the dragon. And this way we could play a year hand or a news pair hand or like numbers with fours. Okay, we're ready to pass. So we're on first right. North passes to east, east to south, south to west, and west to north. Okay, now we were going to do a year hand here, here, and we got a dragon. None of those other tiles are going to work. I would just pass them. We're looking for little odds, maybe. We did get a three. So let's keep that. Oh, we got a nine, three, six, nine. We have no sixes though. Okay, this dragon here, this would be a horrible pass. I would totally not pass that. Maybe we should switch to like numbers with threes and that way we can pass one of each suit. Like numbers with threes, keep the dragons. We got a seven. If we're playing consecutive run, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, or five, six, seven, eight. We really don't need the five. Let's send a good defensive pass there. We have a two. Now we're seeing some cons uh, evens here. Let's go ahead and give up the one. We'll give up on the year hand. If we get a three crack, we could maybe do the news pair hand, or if we get a five crack, we could do the news pair hand. There's a few options there. So we did first right. We're gonna now go across. So north and south pass. and east and west pass. So let's see what east has. We have a two, so there's the first multiple. Well, no, now we have twos. Twos, two multiples. Oh, we got a south. Okay, so that's not helpful though because north and south with odds, east and west with evens. That would be the second and third hand down under winds and dragons. I'm thinking though that the one, two consecutive run hand with flowers is strongest. So I think I would break this up right now and pass those three right there. Okay, so now we have a one, three, three, five. Let's hold the one, five, cause we can do little odds, one, three, five. Let's pass those three. Okay, we got a seven, so that's another multiple. We have a seven, nine, seven, eight, nine. Oh, look it, we have a dragon. Okay, so now we have a one and a three. Let's give up on, let's see here, eight, nine, seven, let's give up on the six. One, three, six, it's really pretty but it's not too awful dangerous. I mean, we have potential consecutive, potential 369. Yeah, that is not good. But the alternative would be to pass these, which would be equally risky. I think I would rather hold the BAMs and leverage the multiples. Maybe we could make this a little better. Oh, I think no matter how you slice it, it's going to be risky. Yeah, no matter how you slice it here, it's going to be risky. Consecutive, three, six, nine, one, three, year, three, six, nine. I would not do that. So you just have to pick the least dangerous, really. So I think probably... Uh, let's do 619. That way we're not passing a year category. We're not passing all 369. 
the nine and the one only go together in one hand, in one suit. So I think that might be the best way to go there. We might be able to break it up a little bit and pass, pass the um, white dragon. I really don't like doing that though, because that also fits into the year. Okay, so I think this is gonna be the best right there. Okay, here we go, let's move along. Okay, we got the eight, two, four, six, eight. We've got two, four, six, eight. So I'm thinking we should switch to two, four, six, eight and give up on the pair hand with news. So let's pass, since we have odds, let's pass it with a west. Since north and south go with odds, pass odds with the west and the east if you can. So now we're going to pass first left. So north passes to west, west to south, south to east, and east to north. We have no keepers there. We have odds with an east, so I think that's fine. Okay, now here we have little odds. The two suits we have are bams and dots. I think we should stay put but I don't know if I wanna continue passing that. I think probably like numbers with threes is stronger than one, three, three, five. We could maybe pass one of each suit and just pass defensively and focus on like numbers. Okay, so here I think we might be able to Let's see here. Let's pass these three. Three, eight, west. Even though the cracks are like that, there's nothing that can be done with a three and an eight. Ooh, <laughs> we got the consecutive four, five, six. We don't need the eight dot. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe we could play the two, four, six, eight pair hand. Two, four, six, eight with pairs of eights. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. This would be the third one or second one down under singles and pairs. So let's, let's pass these three right there. And that we already did first left. So now we're going to do second left. So north passes to west, west to south, south to east, and east to north. Oh, we got the one. Very nice. And we can pass the west, west with odds. We got a three. That's pretty nice. And these dragons fit right in pretty nicely here. There, like numbers with dragons. This would be the third one down under like numbers. And I think we could pass those three. Try not to pass 218 in cracks or bams, or even dots for that matter, because that would fit right into the year category. Let's see what we have here. No keepers for this one. And that's not a bad pass. I think we could maybe make it better by passing the nine dot. That's actually a really, really good pass. Odd, even, far apart, two suits. Oops. Okay, we're looking for two, four, six, eight. We can pass those. Odds with an east. Okay, so we did second left. Now we're gonna go across. So east and, or, south and north, and then east and west. Whoops! Better fingers. Here we go. No keepers. No keepers. We did get a nine crack. 
but it doesn't really fit in. We could pass those three and keep the nine just to see. We could maybe switch to something with big odds or maybe an odds pair hand. We got a six and we have tiles we can pass. I try not to pass two wins together, but this is coming together nicely, no gaps. That's pretty good for a pair hand. We're doing last right, north passes to east. East to south, south to west, west to north. No keepers. We did get a pair of Souths. I would hold that for Joker bait. So, hmm, we have optional cross coming up. I would pass, I think I would pass one blind because I would not want to pass a one with a West South. If someone's playing a year hand, you would fit right into it. So I'm gonna pass one blind, do as little damage as possible from a defensive standpoint. Okay, no keepers, we're looking for threes and dragons. Oh look, we paired up the nine. We've got two tiles to pass. We really don't need the green, although, we could maybe switch to like numbers with nines and dragons. Let's get rid of the five and pass three. Okay, no keepers there. So that was last right. Now we are on optional cross. North and west pass. And east, or north and south and east and west. Oh, you know what? Hold on, let's see here. So East only wants to pass two. So we need to keep one of these. Let's keep the five. So we'll pass these two. Okay, here we go. No keepers. So they have discards. I would get rid of the white first. We have one, two, one, two, no gaps. This would be the concealed pung hand. So I would discard them in this order. Get rid of the white because it's with the year category. Um, get rid of the wins if you're not gonna use them unless it's for joker bait and hold number tiles for potential joker bait. Okay, here we got the one, three, five back. So I would throw the eight crack first, then the win and hope for probably like numbers with threes or little odds with one, three, three, five. That would be, that would be the, let me see, one, three, second hand down. One, three in bams, three, five in dots. No keepers. So I would throw the one crack first because that's with the big year hand and then the west. And then we have discards here too. I would keep the four because it is an even number. So I would just hold all the evens. I would discard the wins first and then the number tile. You're more likely to get a joker out of number tiles than you are wins and dragons. We're done with the Charleston and we're moving on to the pick and discard phase of the game now. So I think we could go ahead and start by discarding the white dragon. And we can draw for player two or south. We got a one dot. Let's just keep it and get rid of the eight crack. And draw for west. Four bam. Let's keep that and get rid of this one crack and draw for north. Flower, that's good. Let's get rid of the south. And draw for player one. Nobody wants wins. We got a north. We can get rid of the east. 
and draw four south. Two bam. We don't really need that. Oh, let's get rid of that two bam. The big year hand, I want to sabotage that. Let's draw four west. Five bam. Let's just hold it. Maybe something consecutive will come in, or maybe even the five through nine pair hand with the dragon. Let's get rid of the west and draw four north. Flower. We have three flowers now. So maybe we could play that first two, four, six, eight hand. We need more eights though for sure. Let's just hold off and get rid of the north. And draw four east. Five dot, that would be a discard. North was just discarded, let's throw that. And draw four south. Seven crack. Let's hold the seven crack and get rid of the wind. And we'll draw four west. Four dot, that, that is a discard. All those can be discarded. The white dragon, was discarded, but we could, yeah, uh, let's get rid of the white dragon. It's already been discarded and there's too many options in here. We're spread a bit thin with that white dragon. Let's draw for north. Joker. Okay, so I think the pear hand should go away. And with all these flowers, we should probably say we could play the first two, four, six, eight hand. So let's go ahead and discard this eight bam. And draw four east. Six dot. Okay, now, it really looks like nobody's wanting to play with winds. So let's go ahead and break up that joker bait. Let's discard south. Clearly, nobody wants to play wins. We'll save the number tiles for joker bait. I'm gonna separate these so you can see where we're headed here. There, those are all discards. So let's draw four south. Oh, nice, joker. L okay, now we're gonna pick, let's get rid of the one bam. That would be a year tile, big hand, get rid of it and we'll draw for west, seven dot. So we've got odds and potentially consecutive. We really don't need the fours. Let's discard the four bam. We still don't have to pick a hand. We've got discards, nine crack. The four bam was discarded, so let's throw that. And we can draw four east, seven dot. There's joker bait right there. Cause we cannot use that seven with this one, two. And I think that's pretty strong. Let's discard the south. And draw four south, east, discard. Drawing four west, south, discard. Drawing for north. Three crack. That's consecutive. We really don't need that. We need evens. And I'd say that's pretty solid. Let's discard the three crack. And draw four east. Now this hand here is concealed. We can't call that. And I think if we were to take that with a Kong, we would have to use both jokers. I would not do that. I think they're stronger with the concealed dragon hand. Okay, we have an eight dot. Don't need it. Let's discard the eight dot. And draw four south. Six bam. That's a discard. Let's go ahead and get rid of the one dot. And draw four west. Five crack. Okay, there's a multiple in there now. So we have tiles we can discard, four dot. 
We do not have to pick a hand yet, but I'm thinking we could even maybe play five, seven, nine with dragons. There's that hand, the knitted hand. This would be the fourth hand down on the right. We would use this as joker bait. Either that or the five through nine pair hand, consecutive pair hand. We need sixes though, there's a gap. Either way, we don't need the seven. Maybe that can go next. So let's draw four north, one dot. That's a discard. Okay, we are heading into the third wall. So we're now in the middle game. Let's draw four east. We got a keeper. Let's go ahead and discard the five dot and draw four south. Seven bam. Five dot was just discarded. Nobody wanted it, so let's discard that and draw four west. Six crack. That's not helpful because we're looking for odds or a six bam. Six crack. Now up here, let's pung it. We need an eight crack or another joker up here. And let's go ahead and discard the nine crack. And we can draw for east. One crack, discard. Drawing for south, three dot. Oh, that's a keeper. Okay, let's go ahead and discard. None of these matter. I mean, we don't need any of these. Six bam. Let's get rid of the six bam and draw up here. Six dot. So we have, yeah, that's not helpful. Let's get rid of the six dot. And we can draw four north. Six bam. Discard. So I think probably we could do five, seven, nine dragon. If we don't get the, there's two six bams out. The likelihood of getting that is gonna be pretty slim. Let's draw for east. Red dragon, that would be a discard. If you're not using dragons in your hand, get rid of them as early as possible, primarily for this reason, or for people who are playing year hands, or the big year hands specifically. Let's draw four south. One crack, that's a discard. Drawing four west. Oops, oh, seven crack. Okay, now we have to make a choice. We've got five, seven, nine. Really this five, seven, nine with the sevens in the middle, it's called a knitted hand where the middle multiple matches the dragon on the other side there. You could use this as joker bait. That's one option. We really don't need the seven dot. Let's throw that. Okay, and we can draw for north. Two crack. That was a good keeper. They need a pair there. Okay, we need an eight crack or a joker badly. Let's get rid of the nine dot. Nobody can take the nine dot. We're gonna draw for east. Eight, bam, that's a discard. We're gonna draw for south. Three, bam. Okay, these are gonna have to be the pair. Or we're gonna switch to threes with flowers maybe. Let's go ahead and discard the seven crack. We still don't have to commit. If we get the right consecutive numbers, we could maybe even play a quint. The threes, the like number quint, third one down. Eight dot, that's a discard. We'll draw for north. Seven crack, it's already been thrown. East. Nine crack, discard. 
okay, up here, they're not ready for it. If we were going to play the 579 with the 7 bam green dragon, we don't have an, a joker or another 9 to take it. So we're stuck. So we are going to draw 4 south. Let's see here. Yeah, white dragon. Okay, let's keep it and get rid of the 7 bam. And before we move on, I discarded and I'm going to, it's this player's turn to draw. So we need to make a choice here. So maybe the flower can go. We need pairs in here. There are two white dragons out, no green dragons. There's one red dragon and one three crack. So there's still some uh, flexibility there. They can still play an exposed like number hand. I think what I would probably do is really keep an eye on the three bam three dot because we could use the jokers with the red dragon and keep the flower, discard the green and the three crack and, and the white dragon. So we'll see what happens. Let's draw for west. Five dot, wrong suit. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw for north. Eight crack! They're ready to win. Eight dot, we'll discard. They're ready to win on an eight crack. And let's draw four east. Joker, Joker's nice. Let's get rid of the six dot. They still need to get rid of this joker bait, but we're not to the end of the third wall yet. When we start getting to that end of the third wall, we need to get rid of that joker bait. You want to break up and discard joker bait, flowers that you're not going to use, dragons you're not going to use, or any fresh tiles before the end of the third wall. So let's go ahead and draw for south. Five crack. We're still in between. I don't want to get rid of the flower yet. Let's get rid of the five crack because we can still maybe play an exposable hand with threes in the flower. Let's draw for south. We're not ready for that five crack there. We're going to draw for west. This is west. Seven dot, wrong suit. We're gonna draw for north. North. Discard, drawing for east. One dot, that's a keeper. Now we get rid of the seven dot. They're one away from being ready to win. Let's draw for south. Four dot, that is a discard. Drawing for west. Green dragon, okay, now there's a multiple, a pair. Now there are two six bams out. The likelihood of them getting it is pretty slim. Although they could play the concealed five, seven, nine hand, or they could still play five, seven, nine with the dragons corresponding. Let's get rid of the eight bam. There are eight BAMs already out, at least one anyway. So let's draw for north, east, and we're gonna draw for east, west. Drawing for south, oops, four dot. Drawing for west. Nine dot, wrong suit. Drawing for north, nine bam, that's a discard. Now, if they're gonna play five, seven, nine with dragons, that's concealed. That would be the last hand on the card. We've got two pair of joker bait. They're in a tough situation there. 
Let's draw four east. Six bam, that's a discard and that's the third six bam. And if they were playing that five through nine, one suit option, the consecutive run, that hand would have gone dead. So it's a good thing they passed it up. Four crack, that's a discard. Four crack, this hand's good. We got our pair right there. We're gonna draw for west. Four dot, discard. Drawing for north, nine bam. Drawing for east, three bam. That's a discard. And we're at the end of the third wall. This is when you wanna get rid of fresh tiles. We're gonna discard it, three bam. Okay, up here, we need to choose now. So the dragons are not coming out in discards. I'm kind of wondering if we should go ahead and Kong it and use these dragons, the dragon with the joker for the red. Okay, if we played like numbers with threes and the red dragon, we would have three discards. If we played the hand with, let's see here, we would only have two discards this way. You know what? I think I'd rather go with the two discard hand and pick. Okay, let's do it. Let's wait. I'd rather go for a bigger hand. Green dragon, that was a good choice. Okay, let's throw the flower right away. We're at the end of the third wall. We're heading into the end game. So they need to pair up here. Now we could always use the three crack with the uh, jokers and use maybe these as the pairs. You don't want to go dead on that hand. So you can manipulate the tiles to make it work, especially if you have jokers. So we discarded a flower. Let's draw four west. Joker. They needed that. They needed that badly. Okay, now we have to choose. Let's look and see how many nine cracks and five cracks are out. There's one five crack and one nine crack. So we would need two jokers to make the knitted hand work right there. So there's three, six, nine tiles. If we played the concealed, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One tile less and we need fewer jokers. I think I would rather, let's see, we have four, four, six. We need to discard. I think I would rather discard the seven crack. We'll see what happens. We still have some flexibility. Let's draw four north, five dot. That's a discard. Let's draw for east. Two dot, that is a keeper and they're ready to win. Let's discard the seven dot. They're ready to win on either a one dot or a one bam, one or the other. There are two one dots out, so it has to be a one bam because all the ones are gone there. So we need a one bam to win. Let's draw four south. Six bam is a good discard. Drawing four west. Six dot, that's a good discard. Drawing for north. One bam, that is a discard and they're ready to win. And that's Mahjong for East. Pair, Pung, 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 Pung. Okay, concealed, 30 point hand. So this player would owe 60, these two would owe 30. This player was one away from being ready. This player was four away. They probably should sw should have switched to defense at this point. This player was ready to win on an eight crack. That was a pretty close game between these three. Okay, that is hard work. It really makes your brain work. The key is you have to make sure that you 
kind of compartmentalize your decision making so you pretend like you don't know what's in the other player's hands. If you can do that, this is a great exercise. It will definitely build your confidence. Give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.